Hey, uh, good morning everybody, it's Bat Jack JW, and you're tuned in to, yes, Saturday morning. It is the Saturday morning radio show, so I appreciate everybody's tuned in here, and um, so we're getting started. Getting started with all kinds of cool stuff, so I'm going to pull up the um, the channel here, get to some of the shout outs, and discussion about some stuff, and talk about some things, and some of the news, and directions that maybe the channel will be heading to. How about that? Some interesting stuff for you, so stay tuned. All right, let's see here. Okay, um, the most recent videos uh, we did, um, one of them talking about are Colt Pythons worth the money? Uh, thank you guys. I did do a lot of um, a lot of traffic to that video, a lot of discussions, a lot of things going back and forth. What people thought about that um, is that is those pythons are they worth it, uh, or is it just all for the the showmanship hey, of the that's the um the other radio show kicking in there so I can read the comments but is a python is it just the the prestige or is it just the thing to say that um yeah I got a python or something um but uh you know it is it, it's just that it comes back to that you know it's uh to me from the, from where I stand now uh, even, you know, just with the cost and everything, I just don't see myself paying that kind of money for one. I just can't do it. Uh, I just can't bring myself to doing that. <laughs> That's just me. Yeah, even as the collectors. But, uh, of course, if I just had uh, a nice fat income at the end of the month, I guess I wouldn't mind so much, maybe. But, uh, anyway, we have a uh, first comment up is by 3 Wolves 4570 and he says, uh, Saturday morning, cup of Kona coffee and bat jack has become my routine. And I thank you for that. I am so happy to become many of your routines, uh, you know, your Saturday morning, uh, uh thing here. So I, I'm really, uh, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> and he says, uh, you're right. Life's too short. Enjoy it while you can. Old age, illness will catch up to you. And he had just watched Hondo last night, six days ago. <laughs> A week ago. So, that's cool stuff. Of course, uh, I got uh, Arizona Ghost Riders. And he says, I, um, great radio show, JW. Hope you got some footage of Dirty Dan's Ranch. We'll be talking about some of that stuff. Yes, the uh, cool, cool Dirty Dan's Ranch out there. Um, and we have the Crazy Scotsman. He says, good show, my friend. Don't worry if some of your shows are shorter or um, if they only have video here and there in the posts. We all understand it takes time um, that life, yeah, um, it does. It You know, it does take up a lot of time. Uh, when, you know, those of us that are YouTubers, it does take up time to do these, these type of things and um, whatnot, making videos. So I try to fit in as much video time as, as we can. So, and we'll, we'll talk to about, we'll, I'll talk about some of that stuff in a bit here. I have the Gunfighter 45 ACP. It says, great episode. I clean, <laughs> I like cleaning my guns. The smell of coffee, bacon, and hoppies number nine makes for a good way to start the day. <laughs> now that's a, now that's a, <laughs> that's a great comment right there. Um, hey, EB Saint, looks like he changed his uh, profile picture there. Nice, nice wheel gun. What is that? A uh, Model 19 or something? <laughs> Looks really nice. I, I, I'm a, such a, a sucker for Smith and Wesson revolvers or something. <laughs> Um, E.D. Saint says, shooting the wax bullets looks like a lot of fun. It's a good way to introduce someone to shooting, especially to someone that might be a bit apprehensive. It is. Shooting wax bullets is absolutely uh, a great training aid, uh, training tool, and an easy way to to get somebody familiar with a gun because you are still using the firearm. And... You don't have to worry so much, like, oh, you know, if they make a mistake, you know, God forbid we make a mistake with a firearm, um, the consequences are not going to be fatal or uh, hold the heavy belt that they does when somebody has a negligent discharge or something like that. Um, you, it's going to hurt if you were to get shot or hit by a wax bullet, no doubt, but it definitely would not be a trip to the hospital. Um, 
or worse. <laughs> but no, it's a it's absolutely a fun way. Like I use it for a lot of point shooting, uh, trying to get better familiar with point shooting, and I've used it for aerial shooting, uh, throwing stuff in the air and shooting things right in the air. It's great because you only got this little wax plug, and it's going maybe. 10, 15 feet in the air, and then it comes falling down, or, you know, 20 feet in the air or so, and it comes down, and you don't really have to worry, even if it landed on your head, it's just a little piece of wax. <laughs> All right. Peppered88 says uh, he's getting ready for Irma since uh, last Friday, so he missed the last week's uh, radio show, and man, I tell you, I hope you're okay. I hope to hear from you soon. I hope you're all right, Pepper88. And it was really nice. I got um, also um, Darren Bag Six Gun jumping in there. You know, he says, "Good luck to you and your family. Uh, God bless you, man." It's awesome to see a lot of us of the YouTube community getting in there and and really just shouting shouting out to each other and and being helpful to each other. It's it's such an important and positive movement we have in the gun community here, right here on YouTube and everything. It's it's good to, sh to project the positive outlook that we do, everything like that. It's really important, I think. Um, you know, that's why I never understood all the, the negative um, stuff that comes along with these gun videos. And it's just associating uh, gun people and stuff in a negative light. I've always felt that. I really do. And so I'm always trying to keep it, keep it upbeat and positive, right? He says, okay, so we got uh, from uh, Richard uh, Godlin's Landeros. Hopefully I'm saying that right, Richard. Um, Yo, Batjack JW, are you a fan of the old school Chuck Norris movies? I was at Walmart recently, came across a Chuck Norris total attack pack. Has Long Wolf McQuaid, Missing in Action, Code of Silence, The Delta Force. <laughs> uh, it both it comes in widescreen and full screen format. I had to get it. Well, yeah, heck, I would probably get it too. <laughs> it was the last one. Twelve bucks. Uh, heck of a steal. Uh, I've always liked uh, those movies. Uh, I my I gotta say, Lone Wolf McQuaid. I've watched that one a few times. I think I've watched that one the most out of that that list right there. Uh, although Code of Silence is really good. I I, I like that one. <laughs> the shotgun. <laughs> so, then we have uh, Chasing Bones and Specters. He says, Arizona Ghost Riders uh, sent me a, give a sub given. Thank you. Welcome aboard. So I'm glad you're uh, here and listening and everything. So, uh, MP Gunther says, good show, JW. Thank you very much. Varen K, good video. And one, and for one, like the radio show, it's nice to hear how it is going. Thank you. I, I, I try to share a lot of things with, you know, how things are going and uh, what, what we're up to and stuff like that. I, that's what I like to do with these uh, radio things and get you a little bit more um, a personal in-depth of what directions of the channel, what I'm doing and all that. And so um, it's nice to see people are interested in that. <laughs> all right, Led8541 says, good episode, Bat Jack. I do love Walmart for ammo. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, yeah, I mean, Walmart definitely has the best prices, I must say. All right, and I have uh, Darren Bag Six Gun. Good show. Still can't see you there. Um, you know, try that phone. Yep, tap that screen a little bit. Oh, I might be there fading in. <laughs> um, no, we were uh, doing some audio versions here for for a little bit, uh, just trying to try this out and everything, and get some use out of this uh, recorder I bought for doing these things. So, um, trying to trying to put use to it. I spent forty bucks on the thing. <laughs> so he says, um, he uh, Darren Bag says he has to try some of those wax shells. Is that what they use in fast draw? They do, uh, Darren Bag's uh, six gun. There, they do use them in the fast draw. Uh, they use the ones that are loaded with the shotgun primer, the 209 shot shell primer. That's uh, what they got going in there. And it launches those bullets fairly, fairly good. Now, I have both, and I favor the small, or the, I'm sorry, the large pistol primer drop in shells. I, it's because it cuts down on the noise. The, the wax bullet's not flying super fast, but it's fast enough to where you can have fun with it. So, there you go. It can break a, a, a clay pigeon. How about that? <laughs> All right. You got um, Russ Elder. <clears throat> says, funny, my friend. I'm 63. And it seems the older I get, the faster time goes. 
I know exactly what you mean. Um, man, I just, even for me, like friends of mine that are getting older, I just keep saying, where does the time go? And it just, it's crazy how it just keeps getting faster and faster. Even for me, it just seems to be moving fast. And it says, I'm with you. I hate to clean guns. <laughs> I like them, but I hate to do <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bob Hartman. Good chat, Bat Jack. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you always watching or listening. I guess we're all listening now. <laughs> JSS Haas, another great episode. Thanks for the shout out. You bet, man. And he says, that was actually the next part of your comment was, you bet I'm already following the radio show channel. I appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. All right, Scott F., good Saturday a.m. Chat is interesting about reloading, definitely paying attention to squib loads. Yes, big time. Watch out for those bang, bang, pop kind of sounds. All right, great radio show when reloading. Always follow the manual and be, to be safe. Edward Petty. <laughs> yes, very much so. I've met people that don't even use the manual and just don't even pay attention to what kind of powder they buy. That's scary stuff. Jeffrey Richardson, so far, so good. Thank you, Jeffrey. And Joe P., all right. Joe, he says, good morning, JW. I have found that reloading safely also depends on the press. With that 650XL... I bought last year. It's almost impossible to make a bad round unless, of course, you ignore the alarms. <laughs> that is so very true. You ignore those alarms and, yeah, you're going to have, but yes. The machine, learning, I mean, the best advice really is if you're going to reload, pay attention to your machine. Learn it. Know when something doesn't feel like it just didn't go right. <laughs> so... All right. <laughs> Greetings from Ireland. All right. All the way from Ireland. That's really cool. Uh, always love the shout outs. Talking about opening, talking about opening picture for videos. I really love the one from episode 51 from the JW's radio. That's classic. That's a classic. Ah, uh, I, you know, I, Bernard, I actually had to, uh, go back and look at that one to know which one you were talking about. So that was really cool. So, all right. And, <clears throat> That will be it. Um, nice little uh, comment there from Pepper88. He uh, lists some uh, prices there he was getting at Walmart for some stuff. So that's really cool. So anyhow, um, what have we been up to? That is the dogs outside already making noise. But what are we up to today and what's the channel up to? Um, coming up, there's actually an idea. Uh, I got an idea for the channel uh, we're going to be doing. Um I really always have been into filmmaking and video work uh, all the way back in high school days. Uh, always been fascinated with that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> I've been working on some Halloween stuff. Uh, Halloween, or not really, I shouldn't say Halloween stuff. I've been working on a small film I put together. And out here, I met up with some really good people, like uh, Dirty Dan and uh, Santi from the Arizona Ghost Riders. These guys are really into filmmaking as well, as much as I am into it. And it's uh, kind of hard to find people that are as passionate about it and have the drive and go all the way to the end. Um, and I don't mean to sound negative about that, but uh, that's it, it does. It's hard to find somebody that really wants to take it to the end. And now I've I had this idea and I threw it out there, and it, and it um, you know it was really cool to see both these guys jump in on that and start saying, hey, yeah, we can do this. Okay, let's do it. So we're taking some time and and doing some of that. So yeah, been out on locations and filming and trying to do this thing and and put it together i was hoping for somewhat of an october by halloween release but i don't know a hundred percent if that's going to happen because i don't want to compromise uh the quality of this thing uh over just because of the time schedule of trying to get it out from october if, if it means we're going to have to cut cut quality measures uh, i don't want to do that i want to make something that we put a lot of effort into and like i mean effort by like i mean time money uh we are going out to locations we are um, definitely taking uh, what 
what little we know and applying it to to this filmmaking thing and trying to make a something that's worth watching uh, hopefully hopefully it's it's going to be worth watching so uh we'll be trying to cut some trailers for it and um yeah hopefully it'll pop up here and of course you guys listening to this uh you definitely get the insight on what's going on and what what to expect on the channel and the upcoming uh events and things so that's what we're doing um it is a uh, horror type based uh, uh movie uh, if you will so my favorite type <laughs> of course amongst other things um but no now here's the thing um i i want to I, I don't want this to come off wrong with with you guys but uh i enjoy doing this youtube bit uh like you wouldn't believe uh this is youtube all of this this whole network has changed my life so much and i really mean that you guys uh the amount of you guys that have been subscribed uh just listening to this right now all of you uh it's amazing to me the numbers of the channel how much it grows um you know and to talk a little bit about the revenue and do people make money off of this yes uh, we do. We make a little bit of money off of the video. So each one that we, you know, we watch or you click on, you know, hopefully if the ads are still running, that's what makes us money. The creators, uh, people like me and uh, Santi from Arizona Ghost Riders, and anybody that's making videos and trying to put time and effort into it. So that little revenue is something that we hope that we can salvage out of it and put back into making these things and make them better. In the past, I mean, I've, I've used so much money out of uh, a lot of this, even out of my own, straight up out of my own pocket, surpassing, well surpassing any of the income from YouTube itself. And putting it back into this and trying to do, bring you guys more interesting videos and other things and uh, taking stuff to the range and everything. And luckily, you know, I've had some help here and there. Yeah, I've had some help from uh, the Fast Draw Association, the Cowboy Fast Draw, where they've given me some a uh, little bit of price breaks on some of the products. Um, we've had some help from uh, Lone Wolf Distributors by giving us the the um, the Alpha Wolf uh, conversion barrel for the Glock uh, 23 to do the video. They gave us a little bit of price break on that. Um, a big, super big help from Badman Bullets. Uh, have been furnishing the channel with uh, any of the projectiles that we need, uh, that I need to go out and make some range videos. So, of course, out here, I haven't quite gotten a range uh, yet to go shoot and do videos at yet, but I hope to. So, that that will come up shortly. So, um, yeah, so any of this this kind of stuff really helps us out. I want to keep going because, like I said, this this whole thing has really changed my life. I never would have thought, I'd have as many people as I do subscribed and continuing to grow. It's amazing. I want to keep doing this. I enjoy this. It's not only just something that, um, it's not all about the money. It's about just the coolness of doing this like having an audience or everything that you do everything you film everything i'm recording somebody's listening somebody's watching that's amazing to me that is something i've always wanted growing up as a child i just always wanted to be involved in film and i think youtube is probably the most amazing tool to ever come about. Now, I'm not the most technical savvy guy. I don't really like a lot of technology. It drives me crazy a lot of times. But the way of the things are going now with this YouTube, I mean, this whole thing, YouTube, it's amazing. We have cell phones that are handheld computer devices. I moved out to Arizona and just had gotten a smartphone. And I tell you, it helped me get around. It helped me navigate. So I can't knock it too much uh you know and i don't and if, um even right now out here i mean how many of you people are probably actually listening to this on a cell phone um or you're like me and still old school and going on a laptop or a, a desktop computer but so anyway um i'm trying to get out i just want to keep going with this and i want to do it at keep doing this at any means possible um of course it's costs and expenses and everything so like i said we're doing this film and we're we're putting a hundred and ten percent into it i mean i tell you that dan and john <clears throat> all these guys we're going at it hundred and ten percent man we're just nailing it everybody involved so i um i gotta say this uh when we're finished with it and the trailers are going up and everything, 
I hope that what I can do with it is we're going to put it on, um, we're going to try this out, and it's a, a website called Patreon. And I've, uh, I've explored it a little bit, checked it out a little bit, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to try to put this thing on Patreon, and we're going to see, uh, hopefully you guys are interested enough uh, by the trailers that we put up and the links to the to the website Patreon, and it's going to be, um, if you will, uh, you know, it's a, it'll cost a dollar to watch the thing, and hopefully we can get some get enough people interested and watch this thing and continue to grow and do more things in that nature. So that's really trying it out, um, trying to to help help everybody out um and seeing what you guys think and hopefully um you know you won't uh get offended by that um you don't have to watch it you don't have to be following the patreon thing but as soon as i get the bat jack jw channel on patreon uh, i will let you know and um you know i'd love to have this sport i really would i it would just be something that can help me out and help out the channel and help everything grow and uh, I want to continue providing content for you guys so um, hopefully uh, you you know you don't uh, take offense to that that um, maybe perhaps uh, you know the bat jack channel will have a patreon thing going on and um, hopefully have a small following on there maybe a bigger following um, to help um, fund things and help keep things going and keep the bat jack jw train rolling down down the tracks and Hopefully be able to invest more and more into the channel and help help it get better. Help it get better, so help it bring more content to you guys. And uh, so, and I appreciate all the support we've been getting so far. It's really nice. It's amazing. Like I said, I never would have thought by starting this channel up that we would have got this far. <laughs> so, anyway, I really appreciate it, guys. I'm Batjack JW. Thanks for listening again. Um, I hope I have your support, and please don't take offense to you know the choice that we're going to make to uh, try this on Patreon and uh, check out that um, that horror movie I've been working on on there. Uh, so you know it's a dollar to watch it. At least that's the plan so far. So um, anyhow, I will see you there. And uh, again, you know, thank you for your support. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Um, Bat Jack JW, the channel has changed my life, and I'm so proud and happy to be a part of yours. Thank you, guys.